Okay, I start my presentation. Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa. I'm Yamamoto Kyohei, a fourth year student in the Faculty of Tourism. So I'm going to give a midterm report on my dissertation. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So uh, the title is The Trade Based Tourism from a Landscape Perspective a case of study of Ominie Okugakemichi trail in Japan. As the title shows, you may not be interested in this theme. <laughs> I, but, but, I, I, but it's, it's a very important idea in tourism studies in, in general. So I think it's something that you can relate to. So this title, you can choose uh, two keywords from this title, two keywords from this title. The one is the trade-based tourism, the other is landscape. So at first, I briefly explain, uh, explain uh, these two keywords. At first, trade-based tourism is literally uh, re recreation based on trails. For example, trekking, hiking, mountaineering, backpacking, cycling, and so on, are typical examples of trade-based tourism. The next keyword is landscape. The landscape is scenery, view, or site, and that's it. So in this presentation, I would rather figure out what characteristic the landscape has. So this is landscape, a very famous landscape, Shirakago in, in Gif Prefecture, Japan. So what, what can you see in this landscape? What can you see in this landscape? At first, you can see the traditional houses, Gashozukuri, which is a landmark of Shirakago. And around houses, you can see crop fields. Beyond the crop fields, you can also see forest. And the central road running in the middle of the village has some tourists. And on the light, you can see the water. Yes, there is the river flowing. So this time, what I want you to focus on is these tourists. So two tourists are in the landscape. Tourists enjoy culture and nature in the landscape. Even to this, even this photograph is taken from the observatory spot where tourists visit. So this landscape is also seen and enjoyed by tourists. So from that, we can say that tourism happens in the landscape. In other words, Tourism is dependent on the landscape. So this is a very, very important idea in tourism studies. So look at again. And, and please focus on these tourists again. So, <clears throat> so I have one more question. How do these tourists move in this landscape? How do these tourists move in this landscape. They move on trails. It's true, not only in, 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 in this landscape, but also, to, but also in, in tourism and your ordinary life, we always move on trails. So from that, we can say that the landscape has trails. The landscape always has trails. So, the landscape, tourism, and trails are closely related to each other. Of course, a combination of trail and tourism, trail-based tourism, is also connected to the landscape because of these inseparable relationships. But traditionally, trail-based tourism has not been discussed from the landscape perspective until now. So this is the challenge my dissertation addresses. So to tackle this challenge, 
I decided to, to use the theories and concepts often used to in landscape studies, namely theoretical frameworks in landscape studies. So there are four frameworks, landscape history, techscape, liminal landscape, and actor network theory. So following, following these frameworks, uh, so my research aim is to explore trade-based tourism from the landscape perspective. And th the research question is as follows. How can trade-based tourism be characterized from the landscape perspective? And I, I'm going to conduct this research in, in, in Omine Okugakimichi Trail which is a very famous trade-based tourism destination in Japan. So this map shows the hiking and trekking, uh, trekking routes and trails in the key mountain range. So there are also, there are, there are <coughs> sorry, there is the famous Kumano Kodo, but uh, Omine Okukakimichi is the central, and purple line in the middle of the map. And uh, from now, I, I'm going to explain key characteristics of the Omino Kakemichi trail. So in terms of uh, cultural value, uh, Japanese unique mountain religion, Shugendo, has been practiced for 1,300 years. So mountain priests, Yamabushi conduct training by walking this trail. And next feature is forestry. <clears throat> so key mountain range, including uh, Omine Okakimichi Trail has long been large forestry area in Japan, especially Yoshino, one of the spots along the Omine Okakimichi has had studied this industry since the 16th century and it's said to be the oldest forest forestry area in Japan. And in terms of the natural value, Mount Hakyogatake on the on Omine Okakimichi Trail has the primitive forest of spruce and birch. And next uh, feature is uh, and next feature is this flower. Um, Omine, Mount Hakyogata, the peak of Mount Hakyogatake has the rare species of flower Oyama Renge, and which grows wild, wild on the on the peak. So uh, from that, Omine Okakemichi has the both cultural and natural value, and these characteristics attract one over one hundred thousand hikers and trekker, trekkers every year. So I so next is research method. I conduct, I'm going to conduct this research with a uh, qualitative design. And to uh, I'm going I will mainly use four techniques to collect the data. The first is walking, the second is observation and, and third is interviewing and the last is photography. So <clears throat> I'm I haven't I have I haven't uh, done field work yet, but but I I'm going to do that in in this October and next November, and I'm going to discuss. A trail based tourism in Omine Okakimichi Trail using uh, theoretical frameworks in landscape studies based on the collected data. These are references. That's all about my presentation. Thank you so much.